development of the offshore wind energy sector is critical to reaching the renewable energy targets defined in the European Green Deal, an environmental roadmap to achieve carbon neutrality in Europe by the year 2050. As a result, the European Union Offshore Renewable Energy Strategy aims for a five-fold increase in offshore wind energy capacity by 2030. However, the cost of wind farm maintenance reduces the competitiveness of electricity produced at offshore wind farms. Wind farms rely on service vessels and there is a pressing need to reduce the carbon footprint of the shipping sector. Maintenance and operation of offshore wind turbines are safety critical activities. To address these challenges, the Nexus project delivers an advanced service vessel concept for maintenance of offshore wind farms. Productivity, costs, emissions and practicality were evaluated to achieve a highly efficient vessel. The innovative boat transfer system allows a daughter craft to be deployed and recovered from ships simply, quickly and safely, and all under full control. The workboat and cradle are secured to tracks on the vessel. No intervention is needed from people on the boat who can remain seated in both launch and recovery phases. Detailed mathematical models have been created and the performance of the boat transfer system was verified with careful analysis of motions and interactions. The vessel's general arrangement design is flexible with regards to gangway positioning. Thorough evaluation is performed according to the wind farm location and requirements, allowing over the bow transfer and over the side transfer. The Nexus SOV can achieve zero emissions while serving the wind farm daily. It is designed with a battery-biased hybrid propulsion system, making the vessel capable of operating an entire day solely on battery power. Relevant offshore charging solutions are under evaluation to enable the vessel to perform all in-field operations based on power provided by the wind farm itself, thus achieving zero emissions. Alternatively, different forms of fuels derived partly or entirely from renewable power, so-called e-fuels, would enable similar vessels to operate at greatly reduced emissions, even if offshore charging facilities were not available. Biofuels are also an alternative that, if sustainably produced, would deliver significant reduction in greenhouse gas emissions and could easily be implemented with current designs and equipment. In 2018, the International Maritime Organization adopted an initial strategy to reduce the average CO2 emissions per transport work in international shipping by at least 40% by 2030 and at least 50% by 2050. Nexus demonstrates how this can be achieved and even surpasses the IMO goals for the offshore wind farm support segment. Complementary to the Nexus ship design is the novel iSpock model developed within the project by comparing different logistical solution concepts in terms of their impact on the productivity of offshore wind farms, the model informed decisions about the development of the vessel design. The model captures the relationships between the rate at which wind turbines fail and the rate at which they can be repaired. This relationship depends, amongst other things, on the capabilities of the vessels involved and the weather conditions at the wind farm by capturing how different logistical solutions enable failed turbines to return to working states, the model predicts key performance measures to assess the business value of SOV designs. Validation of the ship design included physical model tests. A digital simulation was also conducted at an offshore simulation center, verified by software in the loop testing. The safety hazards associated with the innovative technologies have been assessed to integrate appropriate control mechanisms. 
To conduct research between 2017 and 2021, the Nexus Consortium brought together a leading ship designer, a ship builder, an operation and maintenance provider, a maritime research institute, business school modelers, and a classification society operating in four different countries. To achieve their objectives, the Nexus partners adopted a structured approach which consisted of collection and analysis of operational data, safety, security and reliability study, business risk assessment and concept selection, concept generation, vessel concept development and finally, vessel concept demonstration. To facilitate the successful exploitation of a new SOV, the consortium identified aspects of the new design that may require changes to current policy or regulations. The possibility of charging of ship batteries at the wind park is an example. Ships connecting to shore power while in harbour is well established. However, the added complication of offshore charging requires a thorough safety assessment. To pave the way for future policy, Nexus provided recommendations for the safe charging of batteries at the wind farm.